Welcome back to the Men of Victory weekly encouragement video, where we just take a few minutes each week to encourage you to be the man of God that you're created to be. Man, this week I have a word that's just been resonating in my heart, and I want to share it with you to help encourage you to be that man of God that you're created to be. So grab your Bible, grab your notebooks, and let's get into this week's word of encouragement from the Men of Victory. All right, guys, I just want to get into this week's word of encouragement. It comes out of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 11 through 12. And I want to kind of expound on this a little bit. But this is Paul talking to Timothy. And he's calling him out in this moment. And he's telling him how to run away from the desires of the world. And it goes with this. It says, but you, Timothy, are a man of God. You know what I love about Scripture? I'm going to stop right there. I love about Scripture is when you can personalize it. I love that I, I'll insert my name to strengthen it, to encourage me, and to build that confidence in me. So I want you to do this, guys. But you, insert your name, are a man of God. I just want you to say that out loud right now. But you, insert your name, are a man of God. So run from all these evil things, which is the false teaching, the worldly desires, the sin that, that comes into our life, that grabs a hold of us and pulls us back from what God has called us to be. It goes on, it says, pursue righteousness and a godly life along with faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. And this is where I love it in verse 12. It says, fight the good fight for the true faith. Hold tightly to the eternal life to which God has called you, which you have confessed so well before many witnesses. Guys, we are called to fight the good fight. Each and every day, we are to fight the good fight, to go after the prize that Christ has already won for us, but we need to go claim our prize. And this is how it happens. It's done on the battlefield. You see, when we're in the battlefield, we're engaged. We're moving forward towards a goal. We have one mind, and that is of Christ, and we know what needs to be done. But as soon as we withdraw from the battlefield, man, I don't know about you, that's when temptations can come into my life. That's when I open the door to temptations, and it just keeps creeping up bigger and bigger, and that's when problems start arising. And in King David, who was a warrior, had a warrior who was God's own heart, won many battles, but in 2 Samuel 11 is where he left that door open into his life. And that you know the story. If you ever read it, I encourage you to go back and read 2 Samuel 11. But David left the battlefield. That's key. He left the battlefield. And then his eyes lusted after Bathsheba, who was already married. He sleeps with her, gets her pregnant. A moral failure happens to King David in that moment. And instead of just confessing and repenting and coming out with it in that moment, he built another lie and made more mistakes upon it. He calls Bathsheba's husband, Uriah, to come back to sleep with his wife. So when she, got, when she had the baby, he could say it was his. But Uriah didn't want to leave the battlefield. Uriah stayed engaged with his men and refused to come back home. So ultimately, David, has Uriah put to the front of the battle line where he was killed immediately. So lie, mistake, 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 mistake. It builds upon it. But here's the thing, the whole thing of it, guys, I want to encourage you is King David left the battlefield. He left his brothers in Christ and came back and that door to sin and temptation got open in that moment. He believed the lie but to relax. And guys, what that means for us in our life is every day is a battle. Every day, we need to have the mind to say, there's a war I'm going to be in, and I'm going to win today. I'm going to fully engage and not relax. Because when we start relaxing, that door is open and temptation comes in. How we do that is being in the Word every day. We worship every day. We call our brothers. We stay connected through relationships because you know what? If I'm in the battlefield and that door starts to open, guess what? I got guys to my left and to my right are saying, no, no, close that door. That is not us. We've got a prize to win and it's forward motion because it's an eternal prize that God has promised us for those who believe. So guys, know this. You're called to be on the battlefield. If you're on the sidelines, get off the sidelines, get into the game. 
Start serving in the church. Start reading your word. Start attending men's events. Start being connected with a body of believers because you're not called to live on your own, to be isolated. Exodus 15.3 says, The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. I think we just need to think about that just for a second. Guys, our God is a warrior. He fought so hard each and every day for us that he sent his son to die for you and I. He wants us to be a warrior. He wants us in that battlefield. Isaiah 42, 13 says, The Lord will march forth like a mighty hero. He will come out as a warrior, full of fury. He will shout his battle cry and crush all his enemies. That's what I want to tell you guys today, the encouragement. Get off the sidelines. Get back in the battle because that's where victory is won. Because our God is a warrior. He will crush our enemies. And we have the mindset of Christ. So renew your thoughts. Get in the battlefield. Get engaged. Do something tomorrow that you normally haven't been doing. Read your word. Pray. Get into worship. Get connected with your brothers. Call your friends. Get connected. Get back in the battlefield because the victory is ours and we need to come claim it. Each and every day, it's done on the battlefield. So guys, that's the word I have for you today. Let me pray for you. Father God, I thank you for these mighty men of God, these warrior men. Guys, I, Father, I just pray that they stay in the battlefield because that's where victory is won, when we're fully engaged in unity and going after the prize that you have already claimed for us. Father, don't let us relax. Don't let us open the door to sin and temptation. And Father, let us stay connected as a body of believers so we can win the prize that you have for us. Father, I pray a hedge protection over these men as they enter their battlefield tomorrow, the battlefield at work, the battlefield in their home. Father, they are fully engaged and reliant on you. And we give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, that was your weekly word of encouragement. I hope that inspires you and encourages you to, if you're on the sideline, get off the sidelines, get back in the game, because you are called a warrior and you're meant to be in the battle each and every day. Get on the battlefield, men. Hey, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube page. Go ahead and hit the notifications. Man, if you could share this word on your social media with your friends at the workplace to, to just get them involved, because this is how we expand the kingdom and win men for, for Christ, is by getting this word out and helping encourage and inspire them. But April 9th, Saturday, it's coming up, guys, the Men of Victory Breakfast. It is going to be amazing. We're going to have worship. We're going to have bacon. We're going to have more worship. We're going to have more bacon. We're going to have a strong word from you guys and then the relationships because the battlefield is at the men's breakfast. That's where you can rub shoulder to shoulder with a man of God and, and be strengthened in who you are because God has called you for so much more in your life. So be at the men's breakfast, and I'll see you guys next week for your weekly word of encouragement from the Men of Victory. <laughs>